Hi, I'm Ollie. And I'm Mitch. And we're with Veg Permaculture. And we also have our friend Oscar here, who is equal parts flower and water. And today we are going to run you guys through the ins and outs of the Wonder Mill Junior and all of its features. And in the duration, we're going to be making some bread with it. So enjoy. So the first thing that we're going to do, we're going to put this back together because we kind of disassemble it for you guys to see what's actually going on in here. So we've got this grinder right here, which we're going to place right into here. There we go. And this wheel goes on. So that's yeah, as tight as you can go. It depends on the coarseness of flour that you want, but we'll get to that later. And this next bit goes on top just like that. So it's pretty easy to set up like that. It's pretty intuitive. And uh, let's get to some flour making. Alright, so we've got all the demonstrating how it works here. So it's going to have some grain in here. Spinning that right round and then it goes down there and right into here and it goes in between the stones and out comes some out. Okay, so I have some hard red here. Um, this thing which I'm going to use to put the hard red inside the mill. Alright, so because we just put this thing back together again, we're going to have to adjust the coarseness. And so I'm going to show you folks how to go about doing that. And we're just going to adjust it to the coarseness that we want for our bread that we're going to be making later. Here we go. So as you can see, that is pretty um, coarse, so we're going to need to go a lot finer. So we're just going to tighten that up. tighten. The second wheel up and follow through each time until we get to the desired coarseness. Much finer as you can see, so I reckon maybe even with just a little bit finer. Yeah, that's pretty fine, like fine sawdust. So we're gonna go with that for our bread making. Okay, so we've been at this for maybe 20 minutes uh, and we've got four cups of flour now. Okay, so we're gonna talk now what we like and what we don't like about the Wonder Millie Junior. So, what we like about it is that it's really rewarding to make your own flour and it works well, it's easy to use, it's compact, it doesn't take much space and you know you can, it's flexible, you can grind peanuts, almonds, you can grind lots of different things and Mitch will talk about some things we don't like so much um, Yeah so as I'm sure you guys could hear it sounds a little bit like an earthquake is happening inside your house um, a lot of rumbling going on, but I'm sure that would um, be mitigated with a little bit of a harder countertop. Um, one of the other kind of sort of tricky things is that it only goes um, clockwise, which is kind of annoying if your arms get tired, you can't really switch and really go one way. Um, so it's a little bit ergonomically difficult. And as Ollie pointed out earlier, it took us about 15, 20 minutes to get four cups of flour here, so it is a rather slow and arduous process, but I'm sure if you're crafty enough, you could fit something on here so you can attach a drill and you can just chill here and or attach a bicycle to it if you're that crafty. And um, that's about it. And another thing is it comes with these fantastic other um, grinders. So we've got some steel ones, so that would be for the peanuts and the almonds, and then a wet one for if you wanted to do cor um, corn tortillas. And that's about wraps up what we like and don't like in the ins and outs of the Wonder Milk Junior. And now we're going to make some bread.